Today's segment is on contemporary sauces, and today we are making um, a kale pesto. Now, traditionally, pestos are made with uh, basil, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of pine nuts, uh, and some acid by the form of uh, lemon, as well as a little bit of salt, and um, it's pureed. So instead, we're going to kind of make it a little bit northwest and a little bit uh, more modernized. So we're going to use our Robocou, and in the Robocou, we are going to start with our blanched green kale. And we have, we have basically one bunch that's been been added and uh, it's been pulled, de-stemmed, and then blanched briefly in uh, salted water. So we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. We're going to add a garlic clove. This is a really big one, so I'm not going to add all of them. Uh, normally you would add two or three, but this is big enough. A little bit. In this case, we're using toasted walnuts. We're going to add a little bit of salt. And what I'm going to do before I add the acid is I'm going to get this a little bit broken down. So what you're looking for when you're pureeing is that you want to make sure that the filling that is in, that is in, the, in the bowl of the uh, food processor uh, is moving freely and that it's, it's not just stuck together. You want it to be free moving. Good. So I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to take the juice of one lemon. I'm going to use my fork as a, as a ram to get the juice out of it. The important thing, too, when you're using lemons is to make sure that you do not add the seeds. The people at the store said this was a seedless lemon. They lied. Okay. By adding this, we're doing two things. One, we're adding acid, and we are also adding liquid which is going to then free it up a bit in the bowl. Okay. Put the lid back on. Turn it on full go. And now we're going to add our olive oil in a steady stream. Okay, so pesto was created back in the 16th century up in uh, the northern part of Italy and uh, in the area of Genoa, and it was designed to use with meats, vegetables, salads, and even spread onto, um, onto things like bread, crostinis, things of that nature. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to add a little bit more oil. This one is more of a paste than it is a sauce. Okay, one of the things you'll notice, or that you you can sense, is that um, it's starting to slap around inside of the bowl, and that's what you're looking for because it's going to mean that it's a little bit slacker than what it was before. And in order to get it to spread. You want it to be a little bit slack. Now, this is not going to be a, a pourable type of a sauce, but it can be used to be added to other forms of oils, creams, uh, butter-based sauces, and used as a flavor ingredient. And so this one with the kale is a little bit, is a little bit uh, drier.
Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of this in here because I'm going to add a little bit more oil and I'm going to make it so that it's liquefied. So it seems like it's a little bit excessive, but then in this case, this is going to make it to where it's a little bit pourable, and you could use it to put it onto a plate to use for, for a garnish. So in this case, our um, pesto is very wet. And in turn, what we would do is then come in here, take the pesto, and then we could then put it onto the plate. And then we could just spread it around and get it to go. Now we could, we've got a base on the plate. We can now put a piece of meat and or salad and or cheese, tomatoes, something, anything along that line to make it, to make it uh, come together. Okay. Kale pesto. Contemporary sauce.